I actually meant to do this story right here a couple days ago when I first found out about it, but I didn't really have all the information gathered up. It's just something I saw in passing on social media. But thanks to one of my Facebook, my Facebook cool attached to this story. So these three boys' names are Devontae Caffrey, Sammy Farah, and Sean Young. And that was them at the time. That was, um, you know, they were ages 13, 14, and 12 at that particular time. Last September, these three boys saved a man from committing suicide. Like this man was getting ready to jump off of a bridge and these three boys with no kind of negotiation skills or therapeutic, excuse me, therapeutic background, talked that man out of killing himself. Like they stayed there and they just spoke with him and just told him that he has everything to live for. And you know, the usual cliche stuff that needs to be said in order to save someone's life, you know, in order for them not to jump. I'm sure that that was like a scary situation, not only for the person who wanted to kill themselves, but also for them as well, because that man could have went over that bridge right in front of them and they would have had to witness somebody die at their own hands. And that could have had some kind of guilt on them and saying, you know, did we help the man or did we did we coerce him further into his own death? But these three young boys were able to do that. That's simply amazing. I'm going to go ahead and read this article that's coming from mirror.com.uk. Three boys were coming home from school when they found themselves in the middle of a harrowing situation. A deeply troubled man was sitting on the edge of an overpass with a rope around his neck about to take his own life. Devontae Caffrey, Sammy Farah, and Sean Young didn't panic. In fact, the incredible quick-thinking heroism and compassion of the boys who go to St. Mary's High School in Chestnut Hertfordshire saved the man's life. They tried to keep him from, back from the edge, talk him around, and when he went to jump, they grabbed onto him and refused to let go. As Sean then calmly rang for help, two other passerbys came to the boys' aid and the man was rescued. The three children are now to be recognized nationally for their bravery at the 810 overpass in Waltham Cross last September. Sean's mom, Carol, has been amazed at the boys' maturity and said they have just got on with it since their life-saving efforts. They were coming from school and loitering around. Sean was telling them to hurry up, said the 52-year-old. If they had been messing around a little bit longer, who knows what they could have come and met instead. I feel like they were meant to be there to help him. Sean told me what happened when he came home. I let him finish the whole story, and the whole way through, I was smiling because there was nothing I could add to it. While trying to keep the man back and talk him out of suicide, he passed the boys his mobile phone and said, if it rings, don't answer it. The boys helped were helped by 47-year-old Joanne Stammers, who was registered disabled with Klippel Trinone Syndrome a rare disability that makes her highly prone to blood clotting. Despite her condition, which prevents her from working, Joanne took, the, took over from the boys and held onto the man for what feels like forever and was left with bruising all over her arms. Another man, James Higlett, t did his part in saving the man's life. All five will receive awards from the Royal Humane Society, a charity promoting life-saving intervention. Sean's mom, Carol, is immensely proud of the boys' behavior. She said, I am extremely proud of all three of them. They are all good boys, and it's nice to see that they are getting recognized for something good in the community. Quite often in the national news, there are a lot of negative reports about young people, so it is nice to have something positive. They are all very young, and I marvel at how they are all dealing with it. Every time I speak to them, I learn something new about what happened. For example, the man was passing out and got heavier for them. I didn't know that until recently. Jacqueline Caffrey, Devontae's mom, found out the good news on a couple weeks ago and described it as a huge achievement. The three children picked up Special Achievement Awards at the Bronxburn Youth Awards for their bravery. Joanne described the award as a great honor and she said she is still in touch with Jacqueline. It's amazing to get this award. It's obviously under sad circumstances, but it's also great that the kids are getting something for what they did. I am really pleased for them, and I hope other children can see it. See it's worth stopping to help someone. Joanne, who was on her way back from visiting her mom in Waltham Cross when she saw Sean calling for help, told the Hurstfordshire Mercury she hates going under the bridge now and avoids it when she can't. 
She still sees her mom once a week and pays special attention to any bridge she goes under now to make nobody is make sure nobody is standing under the, by the bridge. The heroes that day were nominated for these awards by the Hertfordshire Police. A day for the awards presentation has not yet been set. Even across the pond, our little black boys are doing a damn thing. I can't even, I can't even knock them for that. And also acknowledge that you know that it was two other people that did uh, help um, them, but it was the three boys that made the discovery and started out trying to help this guy. And when they realized they needed help, they received it. I like the story. This is this is a story that I, I another one of those stories that I love to hear. You know, I just did a story about that uh, little black boy in Houston who saved all them people on that air mattress, air mattress after Hurricane Harvey. And now I'm hearing this story right here. I love seeing stories like this or love hearing about stories like this. You don't hear about this often. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments.